what's good y'all welcome back to my channel um i'm not gonna lie i recorded this mad times so this is my last time attempting this video okay um i'm gonna make this as short and simple as possible before i begin let me say i don't own any copyrights to any of the music you guys may hear coming from the junkyard across the street or any of the music that my brother may play he's been playing music for a while and whatever um if it comes from his room or whatever he's playing his games i don't own copyrights to those songs or anything like that okay so clearly it was wash day ah. um today i'm gonna review my medusa piercing i'm gonna put the video of me getting pierced pictures of the swelling afterwards um let's start with the pain well first of all before we get to the pain the location i'm not gonna disclose that because we weren't supposed to record there but me and my bitch don't give a fuck shout out to my bitch kyra um, and I definitely don't give a fuck and we'll, you'll see why I don't give a fuck that I recorded it there. Um, yeah, it was, I did it here in Connecticut. I should have waited. I should have not been impatient and impulsive and rushed to go do this here. I should have waited till she and I both went to where we got pierced together before in the Bronx, in New York City. We are just where the fuck is at. Big cities are where the fuck is at, period. Um, I'm sure there are other places outside of big cities that wouldn't have these types of problems. I'm beyond sure, but that's just how I feel at this moment, all right? So don't be offended if I do offend you. Grow balls. Like, you're going to bite my feet and I see you. That's my baby. That's my cat. I see her, though. It's almost time for you to eat. Anyways, um... So I did it here in Connecticut. I should have waited. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, the pain was like a 7. And it was only a 7 because of the clamps. Because, you know, those are squeezing on your nerves and all of that. I feel like that's why it, like, hurts more. It seems to be, like, mad pain. And it's really because you have something clamped down, holding down. And you, your nerves start to react, so you start to, like, quiver and shit like that. Um, <laughs> sorry. Little, you hear that little wind? <laughs> but, um, like the piercing pain, I'm not gonna lie, when it first went through, you'll see in the video, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, oh, that shit hurt, okay? And it was really just when it went through the top part is when I was like, oh, because that's thicker skin than the skin in our mouths. So once it went through the bottom, it was like, but it still hurt. That's when I felt like the thin you know, thin lip pain, you know, I mean, the thin skin pain, you know, that pain when it goes through the bottom, that final, but, um, it hurt, okay, and I want to say more so because the clamps and because this is thicker skin, but if without the clamps, I feel like we will bleed everywhere, and, you know, they just wouldn't have, like, accurate places, like, without it at the bottoms, and stuff like that so i guess that helps but um at the bottoms at the exit wound whatever i don't give a fuck <laughs> um the after care was easy um he told me not to be afraid to soap it up um i use dial soap that's an orange bar of soap i don't know like in other countries what kind of soaps you guys have if you guys have dial i hope you do I'm pretty sure Amazon delivers around the fucking world. So if you don't, dial soap is good. Um, it's antibacterial or antimicrobial, whatever. I used it for my tattoos, my first tattoo ever, definitely. Um, but I use it on my tattoos and stuff. And so I do the same, like, for surface piercings. Oh, my belly ring did the same thing. Um, really, we're not supposed to... That is not yours. Leave it. She's bored. She's bored and she knows it's almost time for her to eat, so she's going to start fucking with shit on purpose. This is the shit cats do, okay? If you have a cat, you already know. Um, you're not supposed to, like, touch it, play with it, put ointments. You're just supposed to, like, soap it up with antibacterial soap and use this. I, they gave me H2 Ocean Spray. I like that it has Poseidon on there. I don't know if I said that already. If I did, oh, fucking well. I like that it has Poseidon on there. This is sea salt and lysozyme. I don't know what lysozyme is, guys, so I'm going to Google it and put it in the description. 
But um, if you don't want to use this and if you don't want to buy one of these, I got you. When I got my tongue pierced and my um, belly ring, I took an empty bottle of water or an empty bottle, whatever, whatever you want to put it in. And I put warm water. You can use purified water or whatever water you want to use. Okay, just make sure. Get down. Get down, cat. Get down. Go, go, go. She started her shit. I told y'all. I told y'all. No. Don't get on the table. <laughs> um, you can use whatever water you want to use. Just make sure it's clean water, obviously. Um, warm, preferably. So if you use purified, warm it up. And use sea salt, non-iodized sea salt water. We have the Morton's brand here. Well, I have it. Nobody else uses that shit. I love using it to cook too, but that's enough. That's another story for another day. Um, oh, I don't know if I told you guys I stabbed myself accidentally. And I have, like, nerve damage. Um, I stabbed it right there. My stitches came out and stuff. It healed pretty well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, put the Morton's in there. Shake it up. Don't use a bunch of salt. Use like a tablespoon, two tablespoons in there and just shake it up. And you can use that throughout the day as a mouthwash, um, you know, to rinse. And you could also like unscrew the top. Be careful because the surface touching it, like if you move this around, it hurts. It's a wound on the top of your, of your skin, especially on your face. So don't go touching it and stuff. Um, right now, this doesn't hurt anymore. I feel like it healed very well. Obviously, if I'm washing and I accident, like, if it's out and I go like that, that's going to hurt. Come on. Um, so, you can unscrew the top and, like, make sure it's out and, like, put the top on it and, like, let it sit there. Okay. And, you know, so it can soak. Um, I was spraying with this. I was using this, but I wasn't using it. Like, here in the back, it says apply as needed to affect the areas. Recommended use three to six times per day. I was only using it three because I was using antibacterial soap. And I really didn't want it to get dried out or not have the good bacteria that it needed because I was constantly, like, rinsing it out. We have good bacteria in our bodies, guys. And if we rinse it out, all hell breaks loose. So, <laughs> um, I was spraying this. I don't know why I closed. I was spraying it like that. If you do have something like this, spraying it, especially because it did go through the oozing and the crusting like any piercing you get. I don't know if everyone's oozes, but I know they do tend to go through crusting phases, and that's just, your skin is healing itself. Um, my tongue rings did that, and I just, I was very on top of cleaning them. So you take a Q-tip, and you just want to go around. Don't wipe the same ooze around, guys. Wipe it, use the other side, wipe it, you know, get a new Q-tip. But don't leave it sitting in a puddle of water either. Um, you're going to get an infection like that. Don't leave, you don't just leave shit sitting in moisture. That's how bacteria also builds up. So just make sure it's dry, whatever. No ointments or anything like that on it. Um, with the dial soap, when I used it twice a day, and then I was using this. So like when I was brushing my teeth. Okay, brush your teeth in the morning. After you brush, it is going to be sore like for you to get to the top, the top row. Um, after that, go like that. And also like this is how I did it. I was pushing it out and spraying like that and letting it sit there it tastes weird and i feel like that's because the lysozyme uh, salt water doesn't ever taste good if you like drinking sea salt water and salt water period it's not wrong with you. <laughs> but um obviously the way that i spoke about in the bottle it doesn't taste like this and i think it's because of the lysozyme i really don't know what that is so yeah um spray it and then like when you're washing like, just to get the ooze and the crust out, especially in here, get all any bacteria that you didn't get out, obviously, while brushing your teeth from the inside, that's going to take it out. And then, you know, do whatever you're going to do. If you're going to take a shower, if you're going to take a shower, brush your teeth, and then still do this. Still do this. Because I didn't like the idea of, like, what if I didn't get the crust? Like, you can't really see in the shower unless you have a mirror, so what if I didn't get the crust out? That's why I did it as soon as I woke up and brushed my teeth. But, um shower with antibacterial soap clean this if you don't want to clean your face with that i use dial to clean my face because it helps with acne it's antibacterial and then you know whatever that's another story for another day um i was using the dial twice so when i took a shower in the morning when, before i went to sleep 
and I was using this three times. So brushing my teeth, if I was eating in the middle of the day or just um, to clean it in the middle of the day to get that ooze and the crust out, I was packing Q-tips like rolled up in tissue to prevent any dirt and bacteria getting on them and you know cleaning it at work and especially after I ate at work and then before I went to bed. So after my shower, after I washed my face and stuff before bed, that's when I, did, I used this before I went to sleep and I just cleaned it. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, they said not to get the soap in the piercing. I did that. Don't do what I did. Because if it fucks up on you, I didn't tell you to do that. I'm just telling you what I did. So don't do what I did. But I wanted the antibacterial soap to get in there so it could heal. Even though the salt water will cleanse it and heal it. That was just me though. And it worked fine. I was rinsing it out right away. All that. But that's just what I was doing. I was definitely getting the sea salt and the spray in there let it get in there don't be afraid to let it get in there just don't let this sit in a puddle okay um yeah like the swelling it didn't swell the first day it was normal like this and then four days after that i swelled and here's where you guys are gonna see why i'm not happy with the place that i did it at anyway i paid almost 70 dollars, like i said and i was taxed so i was upset about that but again, being impulsive, I was like, eh, whatever. Here's why I'm upset. In New York, I could have did all this for like 40, 45, 50 tops, right, together. They probably would have charged me less for this shit anyway, so probably not even $50. But um, I don't go to school for piercings. Piercers go to school for piercings. A lot of people don't go to school for piercings. That's why we don't pierce ourselves, right? So if you're a piercer and if you're ever watching review videos and you stumble across this, don't just take someone's fucking money. If you see someone doesn't have a, a thin lip, don't, even if they do, don't use the smallest libre piercing or stud that you have. Give it the room it needs for swelling. Um, I was upset because a week later I needed 12-12. I needed to go <clears throat> up a bar size because I don't have thin lips. And I still do, but I'm not feeling that extreme discomfort like I was before I was like I'm scared like if I don't go up a bar it may eat it no it's not like that it's chilling right now um but I'm gonna put this and still pay f to go up a size in New York to buy like a size up um don't touch the person's lip don't touch them period if you don't carry something that's not the first time in my life that a place wasn't well equipped and they still touched me anyway to get that money and it was a different uh reason that they were touching me but still you shouldn't have been if you're not equipped don't touch the person and take their money that's the worst thing you could have did and i could have freaked the fuck out and bombed him but i didn't because i looked at it like that's what you get for being impulsive you should have waited and i didn't want to wait anymore i just wanted to fucking do it so I didn't make it a big issue. I was just like, okay, but they don't carry a, any bigger sizes. They only carry the smallest size of the Lebre. I look at it like you can go into these shops and people can alter their bodies in there some way, somehow. Not like surgery shit. But, you know, you could go into certain places and get a fucking horn put into your head and dermals and you can stretch your ear this big. You can stretch your nose. You can stretch your lip. Like, you can do all types of shit in there. Why would you not? carry bigger sizes you know so whatever um I was upset with that and you know to go up a size I, I had to buy a bar I had to go outside and buy a bar when if I would have waited in New York or you know I'm sure like I said other places may not go through the problems that I had to go through but I would have a week later been able to go a size up for free not even have to spend the five dollars on the stud like so, again, that's what I get for being impulsive. But if you're a piercer, don't touch someone if you're not fucking equipped. Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? You don't do that. Anyways, um, so, yeah, that was my experience. I love it. It's so cute. There were people, I wanted it for two years. There were people like, oh, don't, don't do it. It's going to look ugly. It's gonna look... Sometimes, like I said, like, people be dick riders, and they don't want you to do something because they want to do it. But whatever. It looks cute. I'm happy about it. It is a little bit off because he wasn't getting the fact that I wanted it dead in the center. But I was just like, I know the balls when you first get it are big. It sits. I'm cool with that. It's just a little. 
little bit over from the center, literally, like, a tiny bit. So you're not really going to notice unless you're a weirdo just staring in my face. Okay? <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm happy with my piercing. I like it. I think it looks really pretty. It's cute. It was overall a smooth piercing. Like, I recommend it to those who think they will look good with it. Not everybody's going to look good with shit. You feel me? But I knew it would look nice. I have a deep cupid's bow. So I wanted it. And I didn't for, like, work purposes and stuff like that. Like, why do people consider that unprofessional? Because something on me shouldn't be distracting to someone else. It shouldn't even bring up a conversation. Like, that should be against the law for them to deny people jobs for piercings and tattoos like is it causing are you distracted does it say fuck you i don't know like and can you read it is it in a language where you could see like you know what i mean so that's they should make laws against that because it's not that deep you should be more upset and offended with a person who has an issue with someone's expressing themselves or you know doing whatever they want to do to their body anyways yes I enjoyed getting this, not literally the, you know, getting it itself, because it hurt, you're going to see in the video, but I'm basically happy that I did it, like, I enjoyed the overall experience, and doing it anyways, even though people didn't want me to, that's me, <laughs> but um, I was going to make two videos today, but I recorded this mad times just to get here, so you guys are getting one video today. Maybe I'll record over the weekend. I'm not really trying to go anywhere this weekend. Um, I'm trying to stay my ass home. Okay. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have this or any piercings, comment below. What was your experience like? What videos y'all want to see? Um, and yeah, like, y'all already know it's about to be lit. Period. <laughs>